at it again early this morning, I see. Huh. Let's get into it. Or after it, okay? Why would you do that, though? So I can't eat? The problem is, Lisa, that you do eat. You just have a serious drug addiction that has only gotten more intense because of the amount of money that you collect on the internet, right? So now you have a more expensive habit than you can tolerate. You were gone yesterday because, allegedly, you got a pretty chunk of money the night before, right? I am. I'm hungry, Pookie. I'm just trying. You think that people don't notice that you claim to eat, what, $60 in food every single day? yet you've lost a tremendous amount of weight. You think people don't notice that? Because they do. It's going okay. Um, I'm hungry. Uh, other than that, things have been good. I got a little mental health break. Tell you publicly the same thing that I told you in my email. It's not gonna get any better for you. It's gonna get worse until you do what you need to do for yourself. Mental health break. Oh, hey, Pittsburgh PA and yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I did not mean to make anybody worry. I'm so sorry. Um, I just, I needed a mental health break, guys. I really did. Like, I'm sorry. I seem rejuvenated. Thank you, beautiful omen. I needed it. I didn't even want to get on right now, but I'm so hungry. Like, I didn't even want to. But plus, I wanted to let you guys know, um, you know, that I was okay, too. Why don't you take a six-month mental health break and put yourself into some kind of treatment so that you could try to make your situation any better? It's a fucking crazy thought. Absolutely. Absolutely. I needed it really bad. Bro, what? What? What'd I do? Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I just, I, I didn't realize the extent people, I hate this dang phone. I didn't realize the extent that people would worry about me. And I apologize. I wasn't trying to make anybody worry at all. And I'm sorry about that honestly so you are capable of apologizing to people you just choose not to it says a lot you know uh your alleged daughter that died in a trap house in baltimore you claiming that your son was dying of stage three brain cancer it's been a steady years long stint of lying on the internet for money and you could if you want would like to send me something to eat i would really appreciate it well, I have something to be able, you can help if, you know. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't appreciate it. You would block those people after they send you money or Instacart orders. You block them. You know how you repay those people? Those people will send you money in your chat. And then you look at dead at the screen and say, thank you for the dollar when they sent more than that. Right? That's how you repay those people. You're not grateful. That's the problem. You are the most entitled I have come across in the almost three and a half years I've been doing this. You have a problem. The internet is a huge part of it. Nobody sent anything. Nobody sent anything. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nobody ever sends anything, but the cash app receipts have your cash apps that you've given out. Nobody ever sends anything, but the Instacart and grocery orders have your address, right, with pictures of it being delivered. Isn't that crazy how that works? So everybody but Lisa lies. That's why I, I'm not seeing, I didn't see it. No, I look stupid again. <clears throat> I look stupid again. You're going to continue to look stupid as long as you get on the internet every day, lying about what you need money for and yelling at people because they're not giving you money. You really think that people should pay to watch you fuck your entire life up. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Tag, because I had to verify it with my ID. So the Cash App guy said they can find it with the email because it wasn't coming up with the tag. I, I don't know why. It's completely good to go, completely verified. I don't know why. 
you verified your cash app with a expired ID? Are you sure about that? See, I happen to know that you cannot verify a cash app with an expired identification. Not only that, but Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal are all very well aware of who you are, right? So any cash apps that's made with your ID or name will go down. They are very well aware of you. They are very well aware of what you're doing. And it's crazy that you don't see that things are starting to catch up in many different areas. They're starting to catch up. So it's, your time's running out. So you can either do the right thing or wind up in a prison cell. Um, it's ver it's completely verified. It's completely verified. A thousand percent verified, guys. Strange, because in the live that I saw posted after this one, you said that it's not completely verified. So which one is it? Which one is it? I have that screen recording, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to it today. So these, this is the problem. And I'm always mind blown. People in your situation, they think that like people forget. People are watching this, right? And you just think that nobody, it's like, you know, like you can't see it. You think that people don't see it. We all see it, right? Everybody on the internet sees it, which is why your lives run the way they do, because everybody is aware at this point. It's not banned. It's not banned. They're trying to get me upset. Abby, can you come and block these people that are talking shit, please? I find it super unfortunate that you include your child, your daughter, in this mess. Knowing damn well that you are committing crimes, you are involving your daughter. That's unfortunate, right? Because I know maybe you don't understand this, but as parents, we want better for our kids, right? We don't want our kids to live the lives or make the mistakes that we've made. And yet here you are, making sure that she's a part of it, documenting it the whole time. What are you doing? When I turned them off, that doesn't make sense. Oh, for food, honey. I didn't get on yesterday. I don't have Zelle. I didn't get on yesterday, um, even though I was hungry because I, I needed a break. I needed a break from all the name calling and yeah, I needed a break, so. But today I'm hungry. I didn't even want to come back on, honestly. But I wanted to let my friends know that I'm okay. That nothing happened to me, I'm okay. And I wanted to, um, you know, I'm hungry. You don't want to come back on is a bullshit, right? This is an easy con for you, right? You don't want to come on, don't come on. Nobody's gonna miss you. Nobody is going to care. Get the fuck off the internet and get your fucking life straightened out. You're 40 years old, what are you doing? What are you doing? And it's weird because you say you're tired of it, but you do nothing to change it. Nothing. You just continue the same patterns, doing the same things, being an ungrateful, ungrateful. I don't know who the fuck lied to you that or made you feel as entitled as you act, but it is atrocious. It is crazy that you get on the fucking internet day after day after day expecting other people to support you and your fucking drug habit. That's crazy. This is crazy. I'm sweating from all the people in the chat that are just talking shit. Must money. What? Uh, yeah, it's crazy. I already completely shut down and came back and it was still lagging. Wow. Don't do it. Get off the fucking internet. Get off the internet with your begging, entitled, drug addicted self. Go find somewhere else to go. What's the matter? Listen, I know addicts that hustle every single day to support their habit. Do it off the internet, right? And you know how stupid you are? Do you know how stupid you are? It's all films. It is all recorded so there's no getting out of it i can't i imagine that the people in your neighborhood hate you right because you bring the unwanted attention to that area right i would imagine that they all cannot stand you and can't wait for the day that you're out of there i know that's what's getting me miss missy that's what's getting me is it's a lot
a lot. No, they actually took my expired one for this CA, and I was so happy. Because I'm hoping I can maybe get something to eat. Hopefully. I'm They're not talking shit. People in your position really hate to be told truths, right? Shatters the schema that you have of yourself in your mind. And I don't know how you can have a positive... Like, you gotta hate yourself, right? And, and those people that come into your chat are probably telling you everything that you don't want to admit to yourself. But they're telling you the truth. And you just don't want to hear it, right? You think that you're the smartest person in the room, Lisa, but I promise you, there's always somebody smarter. Um, that's what you put in um, on on the CA app, and it'll pop up. They're, they're still verifying it. Um, and living life... As and I'll say it again. Somebody very close to me was trying to verify a cash app, but because his ID was expired, he could not. So I think you're lying to the people in your chat about the gifts, right? Because if they know that you could cash out your gifts, you think they'll send you less cash, right? And cash is better because gifts only pay out on Wednesdays. So, like I said, Lisa, there's always somebody smarter. Always.